something that hurts when you stab people with. Both of them do, he says. <laughs> One hurts more than the other. Both of them hurt. It depends on the wielder, not the dagger he lies to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one Here's in your left hand. replacement, he says. <laughs> no problem. You've got, a, it's almost a short sword. Yep. So yeah. You guys continue through the forest. Knife. What? Yep. <clears throat> large hunting knife or. Mm -hmm. Eventually you see the, uh, the castle amber surrounded by the, the city. In the distance. Okay. On Corvere Mountain. We stop at the lighthouse on the way. No problem. He takes you to a lighthouse that looks like what the lighthouse in Gothic should have looked like if it was if Gothic wasn't a poorly imagined uh, recreation of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys stand in front of the lighthouse. You can only do that for so long before becoming bored. Knock on the door. Ah. An old guy answers it. He looks like he might be a brother to the guy who is flipping you off from the lighthouse in uh, Gothic. Yes? Kind of figured. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for a little girl. Pervert. He says. Uh, we're looking for, she might be known as Janice. Janice. Uh... Wait a minute. She I remember. Little, he came here with a little be... girl, and he dropped her off, and then he fucked off. You're a shitty parent, he says, pointing at Doc Bolton. Do you know, did she go to the castle? Yeah, I think she went that direction. She came here first, and I gave her some food and drink and talked to her for a while. And she told me that you were, you know, dropping her off, and I asked when you are going to be back, and she said she didn't know, and I said... Don't go to the castle. They're all mad there. And she went to the castle. Hmm. Excellent. Hmm. She knows her own. That's what matters. He blinks at you. Closes Thank the door. You. <laughs> <laughs> so how old, how old was she when you dropped her off about? Are you asking the closed door? No, or... I'm asking oh, dog. Open. Ah. I don't know. Like how old? Like 11-ish, maybe 12. So she's probably a full adult now. Just the right age for pigtails and shit. Unless her uh, growth has slowed down here. You know what? Now that I'm here, I'm going to try and see if I can sense her. Not a good thinking. Yeah, okay. Good thinking. Um, is she a, is she an avatar of of white? She is white. Oh, okay. Um, do our two hundred magic point things go off? No. Well, mm -hmm. good question, but I Does your what? No, the, no, no. Uh, the, oh, the the no, no, no. Sorry. That that thing where we could that thing about the avatar or the servitor that was specific to yellow. Mm. And as we gained more more strength in it's one of the things about yellow is whoever is the avatar of yellow, those who are strong in magic sense him sense that individual and feel the okay. need to defeat them. Right, that's specifically yellow. Okay. Yeah. If you yeah, that if was, you look at yeah. Doc Fulton's eyes right now, <laughs> you can see that he feels the need to defeat Alex Kinley. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of oh, figured. Alex yeah. was clapping and jumping with glee when uh, he was like, "So Chris is playing soon." And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had pictures of his expression. Unfortunately, it didn't give a lot away because I think you were still booting up. <laughs> No, I, I I took it all in as soon as I I heard that there was a gift and that the head I was like okay I got it. He's easy to track down because you you would feel the pull that and that's what I was going to go with today if that hadn't happened. So mm -hmm. right, right, yeah, yeah. You guys are looking at the blue blue ocean and the blue, impossible blue of the sky and the white. And the are there any ships ocean. down there, Logan? No, not right now. They like to okay, come in good. at night and try to put themselves on the rocks and shit, and then the lighthouse light hopefully warns them off. I, I was just looking. No, I was actually looking to see if there was not a ship, but like ships. 
Not to the best of my knowledge. Okay. The C, the the, the C here is not that big. A, it, it, there are some docks uh, from the the city around uh -huh. uh, the the mountain that goes up to the castle, um, and also it has like those really stupid stairways that go up the the Corvier Mountain and such that are like a person wide type of deal. And mm -hmm. when you're looking at it, you're thinking, imagine trying to get furniture up there. Well, that's why there's magic that shit right up. Mm. All right, let's start climbing the fucking up you don't the like, you, you don't want to go into the city at all? Just fuck them and go to the castle? So We can go to the city, check it out. It's up to you. When, I'm just saying it's when, right there. When you were sent away from here, Doc, uh -huh. was it anywhere? In, was it at the castle or were you just around here? It was here right here. here? Right here, and the white sure, beam, the the white beam of light yeah. said you shouldn't be here. And yeah, well, it hasn't turned up yet and told us to bugger off, so that's a good sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any garden gnome so far, Logan, that we're seeing? None. Did we see any in our journey with the dry with the driders? Zero. Hmm. Although it'd have been funnier if they'd taken on a shipment of garden gnomes, but they deal in <laughs> high end goods. So. Yeah, you know, climb up into a crow's nest and there's one in the crow's nest and that'd be pretty fucked up. That'd be a sandy <laughs> roll. <laughs> <laughs> Don't what we go. could do is we could go get some like go to an inn in the city, get some rest, and then kind of explore around the city as I, we wake our way towards the ascension up to the castle. You so guys are pretty tired after your pick long up, pick up here. Doc, it, Doc, how did you get here in the in the Smurf place? How did I get to the Smurf place, or how did you get here in the Smurf place? This has got nothing to do with the Smurf place. No, I didn't use the Smurf place to get here. I used... initially. Initially, how did you get here initially? I I um. I traveled through shadow. I don't know how to do that anymore. Okay. Pre-Dora, I'm assuming you're talking about. Yes. Interesting. There's a lot of things I don't remember. There's a lot of gaps. Mm. But for some reason, I'm always whistling Davy Crockett in my mind. <laughs> I don't know what that means exactly, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. I start walking towards the city. So yes. You and me both with a lot of gas. You guys arrive at the city. Uh, you find a uh, place that is covered in your uh, uh, money that we'd marked off earlier. And uh, you uh, are having a good rest uh, uh, when you get hungry. What, uh, what? I was going to say, um, just rumors, what the word is, what's, what's the um, latest news. There's, uh, there's all kinds of shit going on. Um, another body has been found near Bloody Bills over near the docks. It's a great fish place, though. If you want good, fresh fish, that's the place. I can barely contain my excitement. Got you? <laughs> you guys are eating at Bloody Bills with your fucking fish, dude. A lot of people are giving him, like, the long, hard looks, like... What in the fuck is that? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> at least he doesn't have the tentacles suddenly sp spraying out of his mouth and going, getting the food and pulling back in. I'm Not thinking yet. it's probably developing toward it. <laughs> Not yet. He's doing an awesome Zoidberg. So, so Logan, I've been making no no return back to my re residual self image. Not yet. That's a good question. That's a very interesting point. Because we've slept a couple times, and, and so I haven't reverted in any way, shape, or form? Negative. You're not sure what's up with that. Although, uh, you can give me an essence times one only, Russ, for more information. And the check. That's a fail. Just Russ. Just Russ. Close, though. All right. Yeah. yeah you're not sure. You think you're broken on the inside. Okay. Have our eyes reverted? Uh, your no. eyes were what color? Indigo. Bro, oh, shit. His eyes. His eyes are normal color now. He has normal human eyes. He no longer yeah, has that's what I was, eyes. Yeah, I was just one, and that was sometime during no the journey, has... as we, as when, as 
similar to when Magic was failing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Rust no longer has uh, whatever color. Oh, brown eyes. Brown, yeah. yeah. Normal, like, kind of milky white with a pupil, and they're kind of really, like, big and bulging a bit. But it's normal for him, you're thinking. Probably. Hopefully. So, okay, yeah. I have sunglasses. The sunglasses uh, help. Shows his eyes, like, looking over the tops of them, and they're pushed all the way up. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, all, all pretty much all powers, all magic, all everything does God. run. Yeah, we don't even get magic points back when we when we sleep. Uh, you're not sure. Uh, I was down on magic points from from practicing spells before this whole this yeah. whole thing quit on us for the first four days, and then after that, it's like, do I even have magic points? I don't know. It's, right. It's, very fucked up and weird feeling. You guys uh, eat a good dinner and whatnot. There's there's a little bit of menace in the air, but not not anything you guys aren't used to. You've lived in crap sap cyber crap sack cyberpunk era, so this is really not that bad. Um, and plus, you guys quite simply don't look worth robbing. So yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys are pretty looking pretty fucking trail worn and shit. You know, it's like, eh, eh, and then you're hanging out with fucking fish fingers and shit. Nobody wants to get close to the crazy. Yeah, that's my new nickname is fish fingers. He, Logan's decided that, I think. I don't know why. It's just a fucking funny name. But you guys end up getting a good night's sleep at the, uh, uh, the inn. And mm -hmm. in the morning, you're ready to make a unexpected call on Castle Amber. For a brief What's time. the tech level here? Medieval. You've medieval? Not it's still medieval here? Yeah, people so, do look at your pistol that you're wearing like... Okay. Like, I'm going to put that away. Okay. Yeah, they don't even glance at swords and shit. Doesn't the Genovian me. knife is fine. Okay, yeah. Knives and swords, they don't give a shit. Um, there's very... Uh, occasionally, uh, some people might have uh, uh, crossbows and stuff. Uh, Chris, luck roll. Lower is better. Bastard. Uh -huh. Fucking lucky day bullshit. <laughs> oh, do you still have that card? Uh, the I have a victory. You, do you have? You yes, said you have the whole uh, card? Yes, I do have the whole card. Hmm. Lock it in. Me, yeah. By the way, put victory over here under the fumble deck, and go ahead and yeah. lock it in, and give me a crap card or something. By the way, you guys are in a prestige mod. Just FYI. Okay. You didn't uh, fucking know. Uh, that, 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 that one. That one. I mean, also, you everything you're seeing, you, uh, uh, Russ seems to be super real. Right. Uh, it's hard to explain, but it's more real than you're used to. More real than real. Mm -hmm. Any any comparable to any of my dreams that I've been having? I thought your dreams were all about Smurfette. Which dreams are you referring to? I'm um, just in general. I had no specific dreams. Oh, uh, no, no, your dreams are very dreamy. Okay. I got my luck at half. At half. Uh -huh. um, hmm. Yeah. Um, there's a knock upon your uh, door. I answer the door. There's uh, like four guards. They all have like a unicorn ramp rampagent, uh, like up on two uh -huh. legs. On their, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Rapunt. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Uh, up on their chest. And they, they have crossbows. You were just talking to the other guys about crossbows. And um, uh, one of them says, Dr. James Fulton? Yes, that is me. Uh, could you and your companions please meet us in the common room? Okay. Thank uh -huh. you. They move off. Uh, you notice that they, they kind of like, a couple of them go outside, possibly keeping an eye on the exits and entrances, and the others just wait in the common room. People seem respectful toward them, like they don't want to fuck with these dudes. I knock on these guys' doors and I retrieve them. 
Do we bring our gear? Ah, uh, I have no idea. But they said that we should go meet them in the common room, so. I assume so, then. I'm just going to take what I need. I figure if okay. yep. they take us away, <laughs> we can always send someone for our stuff. Yep, yep, yep. You want to toss some more money for uh, staying in our night to the uh, innkeep as you go by? Yeah. No problem. I, that's covered under your gold. I'm not even worried about it because things aren't horribly expensive here. Um, no problem. The guards uh, then take you, uh, like two are walking in front, two are walking behind. Mm -hmm. Right. And empathy rolls on the guards. Correct. Success. Yep. By lots. Those who make it, I uh, think that the guards seem very professional, but not especially hostile to you. Those who got a crit, uh, they seem a little bit bored. Like I'm on fetch duty, yay! Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not anticipating any trouble. Their crossbows are not loaded. They're just carrying them. Okay. They've also got swords and daggers. So. Mm -hmm. They take you up to the castle, and eventually uh, you get taken into. The castle itself is fairly opulent, but it's not like stupid opulent, like Louis the Fourteenth stuff. It's not like that. Uh, as you're going through, uh, there's various maids and whatnot. Uh, you don't see any persons of note, which Doc Fulton is probably keeping a wary eye out for. In fact, it's a lot like... Uh, the the school for mutants during the uh deadpool movies how they didn't have any of the mutants around so they wouldn't have to play pay them for acting and shit so anyway <laughs> um, right right you know you guys take get taken into a uh, uh drawing room and inside they have a grandfather clock that looks freakishly familiar just mm. ticking away over there burlington the reality anchor uh-huh burlington yeah. right and uh, the so that parts, could be another way for future reference. Um, maybe, but this one looks like it's uh, in Plato's uh, uh, realness thing, uh, a few notches up from what you're used to seeing, if that makes sense. Like theirs were kind of cheap copies of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Because yeah. yeah. uh, yeah, the... it might be the grandfather clock, in other words. Possible, but you're not sure if it's. Uh, uh connected or some sort of freakish coincidence chris good luck on your news role new role because uh you uh have been here before and such so go ahead and give me your uh shadow lore role at learn good luck chris i'm gonna play my Plus 20 right in skill. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> Told you it might come in handy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you made it at learn without the plus 20. Yep. Um, right. Have, Logan. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> cock. you're thinking that the other grandfather clocks may be shadows of this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, one of the guards leaves to go about doing some certain deed. The other three stay and watch you without any interest. Eventually, a uh, lady in green and gold comes in. Uh, you don't recognize her, Chris. It's not one of your old contacts and shit. Okay. And she appears to be kind of a youngish lady. Uh, she's got flowers in her hair. And she says, well met. You are faster on the start than even I thought. She's speaking specifically to Doc Fulton? Uh, kind of to him, kind of to the group type deal. Smurf. Oh, well, my etiquette. <laughs> I get my etiquette. Uh, take a card, Russ. Um, she blinks at him. Confused. Gotta use that insanity. It shows her blinking at him like, 
the fuck? Uh, is uh, Holmes doing etiquette? Yeah. And also, what position are you assigning her in your etiquette hierarchy? Um, princess of Amber, so she's royal as far as I know. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Say you something. address her as that? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, well, yeah, so she appears to be someone of importance at the castle, so... Yeah, he's addressing her as uh, your highness, or as your highness, I believe, is the correct form of address for princess, but I'm not going to look it up. Um, yep, I will follow his lead. Excellent. She she takes it. Uh, she does not correct you. And she says, I am Mel. Are her eyes white? Uh, normal, normal human eyes, although uh, they are kind of a, a blue-green. Mm. She has kind of a fey type quality to her. Uh, like she would make an awesome hippie. I liked your first one, that was Smurf. That was perfect. <laughs> okay, she says, I know why you are here, but I wish to dissuade you from it. Huh. it Janice. Will be the what? Not ready. I'm here to speak of to Janice. Oh, that is not why I thought you were here. Well, we have to deal with Zog, and because Zog's after her, and he's starting to rampage through the shadows. Uh, she shrugs like shadows. <laughs> she says she is not here. She has already walked the pattern and come into her own as you are also children of Amber. Mm -hmm. Walking the pattern, what is that? She looks at Doc Fulton and smiles. Luella told me all about you. So we're, we can do that as well, or no? As I was trying to say, I advise against it as it is very dangerous. If you die, it is not like in your native shadow, from what I've heard, where you come back. It is more permanent here. Hmm. I kind of figured. Okay. But if we are children of Amber, then isn't that uh, our next course? You are children of Amber in a very distant lineage, but it is still enough. Uh, your lineage is confusing to me, and I do not wish to speak the name of that which uh, I believe you are children of, because to speak its name may be to summon it to us, and yeah. I do not wish its attentions. Are there copies of uh, us somewhere? Are we shadows of something? You are perhaps shadows, perhaps real. It is unknown to me if you do not survive the pattern, then you are aught but shadows. But if you do, then perhaps you are real. So we are huh. children of Amber, not the other end. You could be children of both. I do not know your exact lineage because that which I will not speak has both within it. Hmm. Okay. I believe. Uh, and that would be something to talk to somebody else about, but he is not here, for he rules elsewhere. So I wasn't sure if he whose name should not be spoken was mm -hmm. actually an Amberite, or is it the no. other way around? Or no, yes. I may not. I may not speak of him, for I do not wish to draw his attention. Nigh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I offer you? Food, beverages, drinks. Um, she goes, <laughs> looks around like, the fuck is that smell? Sir Tessie Wiss. She gets, uh, she goes and picks up a small silver bell upon a dark stained table and rings it. 
a uh, livery clad servant uh, quickly comes in and bows to her and she says, food, drink for our guest. He bows again and departs. All without speaking, extra you're thinking. So what is my niece up to nowadays? She is her own woman. She has the power of the pattern, so she travels where she will. Hmm. So hmm. she is no longer white, then, from having walked the pattern, I'm assuming. She says, ah, the glowing eyes thing. No, yeah. that was merely the shadow of a shadow. Hmm. Fucking lock roll, god damn it. Okay, so <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> so I'm curious as to why the shadows are what is with these agents that appear in some of the shadows and when things aren't right? Agents? Uh, yeah, yeah right. or like almost like anybody's, but they like if something interferes something. with what the basic reality oh. of the shadow is, agents she, come in to correct it. She shrugs and she says, "Well, I." And then the door opens and three servants come in and she falls silent. They arrange food, drink, etc. She talks about inconsequentials and whatnot, like the weather and the, mm -hmm. the fields and such, until the servants fuck off. And then she says, uh, that is merely shadow politics. I do not know of your native shadows and such. How many like, shadows are there? They are without number. Basically, they're, they're all quantum splits of each other. Right. She smiles. But and are that, they? Go ahead. No, go ahead. You're good. Are they recursive? Do they do they relate to one another? Do they nest? Yes, some some do not. Some less. Some more. The universe is a strange and wild place, and I know little of it. I send out my spies to find out what things I wish to know, and. Uh, they sometimes bring me back interesting information. Do you so have the religion here? Names. I was just going to ask if you are the... She, she nods. Yes, the Kabul. Gnomes. Yes, my gnomes. Mm -hmm. Why were they always looking annoyed with this? They are not happy gnomes. As in not happy with the task they've been given or not happy with us specifically? I don't know if they're happy at all, honestly. I okay. really don't question so it. It wasn't, wasn't something we've done. It was more that i just generally unhappy. I don't know what you've done. They only give me certain things. They have to go through the Gnome of Thrones in order to give me the information. Okay. Okay. As and, to religion, and, you would like to go to a Unicorn Shrine? I would love to go to Unicorn Shrine. She, it, it's interesting because every realm, every shadow we've been to, religion from a large practice sense does not seem to exist. I do not know of your native shadow. No, as in multiple shadows. We've been Most, to multiple shadows. And are everyone they multiple we've visited. shadows or are they part of one extensive shadow? Hmm. She takes you to a unicorn shrine, which looks like a non-denominational uh, place for meditation and prayer, as you would find in any of the better airports, maybe. Whom do you worship? Uh, we do not. We sometimes uh, hope that the unicorn will favor us with it, uh, its blessing. I um, I kneel before the unicorn. They don't really have a unicorn here. It's just a big slab, like an altar, but it's obviously never used in the way that good old-fashioned altars were. Blood magic, but you know. Um, for the blood god. That's then right. I, I kneel before the altar and I concentrate on the gnomes. It has absolutely no effect. Right. 
She watches him pray for a moment and turns to you guys. Ah. So, curious. Um, yes, is, I know what you want. I will take you there. When, as soon as he's done, at least. Of course. Um, also, like, is, is there peace currently, or as much peace as that can be had with the courts of chaos? I would not speak to you of such things. Sorry. She looks at you. Empathy rolls. Not quite half. Negative 30. Success. She's looking, she's looking a bit wary of Fulton for some reason. Sorry, I did not wish to pry upon your knowledge. Though it is curious that... Do you know of Zog? She says, I know little of uh, these things now. This is... I I know more of you than I've heard you discuss, Zog. It has come up, but other than that, no. What about Yog Sofov? She blanks at you. I really don't know that much about that many things. I am not very well-traveled. I am very young. Mm -hmm. um, I do think... Guys, are knowledgeable enough, though. However, I understand that knowledge is everything here. She turns away, hiding a smile. Come, she says, I will take you there. I think maybe we should stop dropping God's names, uh, since she also does not. He's not a God. Okay, all right. He's a naughty boy. boy. She takes you uh, down and down and down through the, the castle. Yes, to the to the basement where she gets a torch. Uh, there's a lone guard guarding it. He seems bored, although he stands quickly to attention when uh, you guys approach and he sees her. Alexa, off. Now connected to Nexus player. Urgh, I hate you so much. So. Uh, eventually, she takes you to a uh, room in which no torch need uh, be shining, for it is lit by a huge glowing pattern. It appears to be, I think it's whitish, uh, drawn in the floor, and it looks like a long, twisting thing, although it never goes over itself. And she says, behold, the object of your quest, for I know that is your true quest. Regardless of what you say, I was told to expect you by the your the one you call your niece. Mm. But again, I must tell you, do not walk upon it. You may gaze upon it, but if you walk upon it, you will surely die. GM, quick side note. It's fucking rough, but if you uh and if you die, you will be making a new character. If you live, then other shit happens. Happy shit. Good shit, etc. But it is fucking rough. Okay. I've got a skill plus 10 that I'm about to throw away. Does anybody have something worse? Yeah. I have a nada. Yep. All right. Who wants <laughs> yeah. the skill plus 10? I'll talk to nada. nada. Okay. There you go. Thank you. But if you do choose to ignore my advice and go upon it, I will tell you this. Do not stop. You will get many resistances. But whatever you do, you must not stop. For if you stop, getting started again is very difficult. Mm -hmm. You look at it and remember your old fucking nemesis as it burns in your mind like a spider web on fire. Now you see it at last, Dr. Fulton, and you know that a part of you is screaming, God damn it! Actually, this kind of uh, makes sense because in the past, I never walked this. I did the other. <laughs> so... I am now the yin to my yang. <laughs> <laughs> also, 
as a, another side note, uh, the powers of this work a bit differently than you may be used to, Chris. It'll work more like a spell, like a, a spell tree in this game, just because I found some a new thing, and by God, it's my hammer, and so everything is going with the hammer. So it's okay. not like in the old days where you had to spend several hundred paws in order to blah, blah, blah. That makes sense, because yeah. we don't have several hundred paws. And we used to get a lot more uh, pause permission anyway, so. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you guys want to go first, but. <laughs> it just shows him leaping toward it. <laughs> I start meandering towards it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this right quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think you're smurfed, but go ahead. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to smurf away. Smurf away smurfily, sir. <coughs> For those who are about to die, we salute you. As he as he begins to uh, as he immediately heads over to the beginning point and sets foot upon it, you can see like a little bit of sparks and stuff coming out near his foot, and he begins just pushing forward, and you can tell. This is not easy. And as he continues to walk at the sparks around him, exploding out of this pattern thing, get higher and higher. And they begin creeping up. And you can tell he's going through like all kinds of fucking mental anguish, and physical uh, pressure and whatnot. And he's going for it in a big way. Now, let me see. This is going to be a little bit of a rough one. Uh, Should we pull off our headphones while you do this? Not at all. You can you can hear. Plus, I'm sure he'll, he'll be happy to tell you uh, whether it was hard or easy, unless he's dead, in which case you might think it's hard. Let me find it real quick here. Well, I sure hope you're all find some work out there. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, okay. You're, you're going to be doing several resistance types roles here, Chris. Um, yep. And again, if you fail any one of these, you're dead. Okay. First one, versus an 80, what is your strength? My strength is 83. So 50-50, you need to roll a 50 or less. Good luck. I died. <laughs> So do I just spend pause then? Uh, you can if you want. Yeah, it will prevent death. <laughs> Got it. Okay, cool. Uh, against an 80, what is your endurance? I have that written in a weird place. 50. Okay, so you're down by 30. Uh, so you need a 20 or less as you are lacking the physical endurance to get through this bitch. Don't forget you got a skill plus 10. Mm. I'm going to burn that the way right now. You <laughs> Probably a good idea. Oh, wait. You said I need a, okay. A 20 or less. And it looks like I'm going to be dead. So cool. Bummer. He fails and dies. Shit. Okay, I'm alive. Oh, shit. How many pause or hero points was that? 14. God damn. Holy shit. <laughs> the, last, the last thing. What is your willpower times five? Because you're going versus... 100. Nine. So you 20 in your favor, so you need a 70 or less. Ooh. <clears throat> Of course, one more hero point had to get sucked out of the easy mm -hmm. one. Right. You make it through, and you pick up a new skill at your learn. Uh, you're also in the very center of the pattern right now because it ends with you in the middle of the fucking floor, surrounded by this shit. And the lady's like, do not walk. She says, you can request the pattern to teleport you here. She points that to her. Yeah, once you walk pattern, you can go wherever you want. So I, I come to the beginning wherever she's at, wherever, where these guys are. Great. 
Also, uh, all of the spells and shit that were on you, gone. Uh, residual self-image is here. Boom. You are now yourself. Okay. Uh, oh, so my pockets are gone? Gone. Just gone. Everything got wiped out. So anything in the pockets are gone? Mm-hmm. Well, that's You're a real cool. boy now. Yes, you are real, though. <laughs> super, super real. Scary real. Um, yeah. And now it might, um, the spell, no, spells are gone. Oh, shit, your lightsaber was in there. So, um, new skill. Hold on a second. Let me find it real quick. Ah, uh, first skill, and it's got three different things that it can uh, branch off is travel through shadow to a known location. A to B must have been there before. All right, hold on. And you said these are like, sk- uh, like spells. spells. Yeah. All right, let me go to my spell page. Oh, they're, it's full. Shit. Oh no. <laughs> Print another one. Yeah, that was that was some seriously hard uh thing to go through. And you came super close to death. Glad you had a lot of hero points when you tried it. She looks at you guys and goes, Well, he made that look easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I saw his soul draining away. <laughs> she nods. She okay. looks at she looks at McKay and raises an eyebrow. Yes, I'm contemplating it. <laughs> she knows. She has better empathy than Logan does. She just smiles. Yeah. She goes, I know my look. right over here, sir. <laughs> okay, Logan. Travel through shadow. Travel through shadow to known location. A to B must have been there before. All right. And there's three different possibilities when you get a crit on that shit. So from here, you could literally walk your ass back to, let's call it the game area. Yeah. Okay. So. She waits patiently for uh, you guys to see what happens. I'm thinking Fish Fingers is looking reluctant at this point. Oh, I know what my usual luck is, so... Oh, nobody's forcing you to do it. She's merely yes. pausing before she mm-hmm. uh, she just brought you guys down here because she knew Doc Fulton would grab this like a fat kid on Smarties. It's mm-hmm. tempting. It's tempting. Oh, yeah. Do, do we still want to talk to Janice? Yeah. I do not know where she is. She is not here. Did she walk through shadow? Yes, she went away. I do not know where to. She is, I believe, out exploring, living her life and such. Um, once once you have uh, um, begun to walk uh, shadow, and learned um, to mani- to manipulate shadow and such, then eventually you'll be able to explore new shadows and such. And it, it, it is the beginning. Mm-hmm. New playing field. She nods. She look. She does the like looking at you, and then she does the super slow look to Joshua, <laughs> and raises one elegant eyebrow. She's she smells nice too. Ah, oh, fuck it. You only live once. I'll give it a try. She looks rather surprised in your fucking <laughs> foot hits the goddamn pattern. <laughs> You realize there's no way to once you start it, you can. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, and and we'll back. see what Google says about this. Google's gonna make you die. I'm pretty certain, but I got a 70 strength. Wow. Okay. So let's see. That's 10 off. So you need a 40 or less. One pause. Two pause. Three pause. Got it. Cool. Next is the all-important and 
endurance that nobody seems to take. 64. Again. Holy Christ. Uh, so against 80, we'll call it 65. So that's 15 down. So that's 35 or less. Got it. Nice. Nice. What's your willpower times five? My will times five is 75. So five down. So you need a 45 or less. One, two, three, four. Well, you got through it easier than Doc Fulton did. Also, you are no longer fish fingers. I am very sad to hear that. You're back to uh, uh, your residual self image, all your shit that was in magical pockets, all your magic spells and shit that were on you, gone, gone, gone. Okay, so, so by magic I have spell, a... sorry, by magic spells on magic your Magic spells are all gone too? Yeah, everything. Okay, so. Do you mean that the spells that we knew are gone, or do you mean the spell effects are gone? And like your pockets and shit that you had going are gone. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, okay, but we still know our spells. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's, okay, yeah, that's what that's, I thought you were saying. They, they, don't, they don't work in this shadow. They probably only work at or close to your native shadows. Okay. How does um how, how many MP does Traverse Shadow cost? You have no idea. You've never gotten to try it. Okay. <laughs> Cool. I'll let you know if you ever do. She looks rather surprised that that only, do you want to teleport? You're in the center of the pattern. Would you like to teleport over next to, like, back to where you were? Yes, I teleport right, right behind her. She just kind of sighs. She looks at you and goes, well, it looks like that did you some good. You notice the cloak is kind of draped over you like it was made for a bigger person. Mm -hmm. Apparently, your fish thing had been getting bigger in size. Logan's very impressed that you did it. And she says, well, I guess we might be ready to go back upstairs. No, I'll walk it. <sighs> she attempts she, to the, look the knowledge is The knowledge is too tempting. But it may destroy you, she says, placing her hand upon your chest. <laughs> yes. Don't do it, Joshua. Don't. She stands was aside a... and make sure that you know exactly where the beginning is. It was a good day to have 17 hero points. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is, right. this is definitely the day. It's scary as shit, too, because there's weird psychological stuff that goes on when you're in there, too, and it's constantly trying to fucking drag you down. So, uh, let's see. What's McKay's strength? Uh, 84. So, you're uh, about five up, so go ahead and roll a 55 or less. One. And it begins. It begins. Three. Three. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Google. Let him let him live. Ah, there we go. Wow. Well, now the very 80. difficult endurance. What's your endurance? Sixty-eight. So call it seventy. Uh, so you're about ten down. So roll a forty or less. One. Just burst into flame, fall yeah. into ashes. Yes. Nice. And what's your willpower times five? 90. Excellent. So that's 10 up. Roll a 60 or less. Yes. Yes. How many hero points did that cost you? Uh, that cost me seven. You were the easiest of all in all that hesitation. Would you like to teleport next to a uh, lady again or no? No. Where are you teleporting to? I'm waiting to get confirmation from Doc as to what I'm contemplating. Oh, my God. Oh, I almost forgot. For you guys, I know your Sandys are both over 50. Um, all your insanities become quirks if if you want to even keep them as quirks. But basically, it has quite the opposite effect as walking uh, Logris does. It cures your mind. Okay. So, what was the new spell called? Uh, I will just copy paste that. 
Did both you guys do it? Yeah. I'm currently standing in the middle view. of the pattern. What happened? Well, rolling a 20 or less is pretty rough. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just imagining anybody who didn't build up endurance or didn't start with much, they'd essentially need to hit not five or less. I'm assuming that I no longer have my um, color because it's... Because Color's it's gone, pattern. Zuckery's gone, gone, gone. Yes. Yeah, so I don't have my ability that I got from my color as well. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. No, you're you're pretty much your own man again. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll delete big jump. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, I don't think you used that much either, did you? I used it once to escape the cops in Night City. Mm -hmm. Russ, you what's were... your current sanity down to, by the way? 34. So you should have one insanity, but you have two, correct? No, I have one insanity. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you keep it because your Sandy current total is too low. Um, <clears throat> no worries. Well, because if it was higher, then your insanity would be cured. It's like a psychoanalysis thing. Right, right, okay. You guys, I, never, I was wondering if I gained any sand for having walked the pattern. No, no, it, it, you feel like you just did a couple of marathons back to back. Right. Oh, wow. That was hard. Yeah. Although nobody had a rougher time than Doc Fulton did. The guy who wanted this more than anything. It nearly destroyed him. How many, how many hero points is Doc down to? One? One. Two, two. <laughs> God damn. Wow. Nearly. Well, it, it, in some ways it sort of makes, well, from a game perspective, it sort of makes sense because, you know, I'm supposed to be, we're almost like yin and yang in the prophecy. That's right. And you already did the other thing. <clears throat> no, this is a prophecy you don't know about that we found out about. Oh, okay. All right. About, more. About Doc doing destruction and me and me reversing it. Cool. <coughs> uh, um, I, Russ, I copy pasted the description of what you got as your new uh, spell. If you I want, I get that at Learn on Machine. Does Does Trevor shadow someone who's a good name for that spell? Yeah, you can call it whatever you want, but there's a description of it. Okay, cool. Um. Doc, ja. if we if we still want to speak to Janice, he's still in the middle of the pattern. By the way, he has not teleported over. What are you doing? Well, if we want to speak to Janice, why don't I go there to where she is right now? Where is she? I don't. Wherever the pattern takes me. <laughs> I do not advise this. She says. Mel says. Oh, you may die anyway. <laughs> You'll be by yourself in possibly a very alien place, and getting back may be long, if not impossible. Mm. Just I thinking, depending on Etc., she says. Yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't suppose you have a, or anybody that you know has a trump of hers that we could use. No, no. Um, the the elders are loath to paint new trumps, and the skill is not known by many of the youngers like myself. Mm. Mm. It well, is apparently difficult to do it, and takes several days to paint a trump. Mm. But now that you have done pattern, if you're a painter, perhaps you'll eventually be able to paint her trump. Hmm. Uh, I suppose we could get somebody to show you something on it if you wish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going with the no traveling to her then? Right. I wouldn't do it because I wouldn't no. know how to get to you nor communicate with you once yeah, you get, did arrive. Well, depending on where it is, our phones may work or may not. Not well, <laughs> true. If we're off in shadow, it would might work, but being here, they won't. No, that's right. 
We haven't checked our interdimensional phones either, so we don't know if they work here in Amber. The Mel, Mel just chuckles and she says, no, technology does not work in Amber. Yeah. He's got to find the right stuff. Before you go teleport off into oblivion, Joshua, what is this prophecy you were talking about? Uh, he's supposed to stop the destruction and I'm the destructor. Some shit like that. That's supposed to be good for you. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, pretty much. Which is partly why I decided to walk the pattern as well, because this is that order. Destruct things better. Now there's a pattern in I'm supposed to what? I'm supposed I'm supposed to bring about the good times. Oh right, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And Mildred was oh, okay. there as well. So you guys are getting yeah. Chaos in order. Okay, got it. Um yeah. <laughs> so James will walk the burning spider web and all will change. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And I'm the savior that will reverse things and bring about the good times or something. According to the crocodile Bedouin wise women. <laughs> it sounded and, great until you put that part in there. Sandwiches. <laughs> well, it was well, the, the fact that they didn't know our names and their book had our names in it and we said, oh, does it have any mention of this person, this person? Yes, yes, it says this. How do you know those names? Anyway, yeah, all right, I'll teleport says. next to you guys. Okay. So, we've all done it now or no? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Rub out aligned with indigo. Thank you for bringing here, Mel. Me here, Mel. I appreciate it. It is always nice to have allies. Indeed, indeed, it indeed. is. She smiles, knowing that pretty much next time she needs something, you guys will fucking be happy to help out. So, um, are we going to keep way of seeing? Things. Are we going to keep seeing your gnomes? No. Well, maybe if I am curious, she says. Yeah, that's all right. Just, but not all gnomes are mine. That's important to remember. She says. No, just the three of them that keep changing and moving mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. She says. <coughs> Right. Three well, notes. knowing what you know now, how could you not be curious as to the randomness that we uh, encounter here? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> yes. She chuckles a bit. I nod. <laughs> I smile. 